I don't even know how to start this video. Okay, so this one is gonna be another talker. Welcome back to my channel. If you have been here before, if not, welcome. My name is Haley. Thank you so much for joining me today and for this video. If you hear like a little buzzing noise, that's my diffuser here. So hopefully it's not too noisy. Also, I have my naked smoothie. I think it's like the rainbow smoothie or something like that. It's delicious. As you may have noticed, if you have been here before, this is a completely different space and that's because for like the past two weeks well it's going on three weeks basically now I have been living at my parents house <laughs> so let's just jump on into this if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't already um yeah we're going into like the third week of me basically living in my sister's room which this is my sister's room she's got this really cute pop Papasan chair? How do you say this? Papasan. Mm, I don't know. I think it's super cute, so I just took advantage of the cute space she has here. And also, I'm wearing her sweatshirt, which I think she got from Old Navy, if I'm not mistaken. I love it. And I just wanted to throw on something comfortable for this video because it's going to be a little talker. So I'm going to get comfortable here. This is my first video in almost a month, which is... <sighs> so crazy to me but literally my life has been very 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 hectic in the past three weeks i just want to explain why i literally haven't been on here in almost a month now let's go back to end of july i quit my job it wasn't bad or anything it was actually a good thing for me i am going to start working from home i have a social media client right now that i run the entirety of their social media accounts their facebook their instagram and i do their email marketing as well so if you guys are interested i'm taking on new clients go ahead and hit me up down below but so that that was the start of this whole thing was like this super crazy life change I went from working a retail job part-time and I actually quit so that I could start working from home and start actually taking my content creating more seriously and I haven't really been able to do that because literally I put in my two weeks and I worked the first last week I worked that first week and then going into that second week I got sick and I was out for like four days so, and I felt so bad because I had just put my two weeks in and I'm like oh my gosh my manager probably thinks that I'm like lying to her to try to get out of work even quicker but I, I wasn't I was down and out for four days I have my husband he can he can tell you how crazy that was because I literally was in bed for like four days I had a fever and I had like a just I was super fatigued and again that fever is literally gonna take everything out of you super bad congestion it started off with a sore throat and I just thought it was like my sinuses and then the next day I had a fever and I just was like it got worse from there so after those like four days I actually went to go get tested tested for COVID because I, I didn't know if I COVID or not and I was super sick I wasn't able to like go get a test so I ended up scheduling one of Walgreens I did the drive through test came back negative and then also my husband ended up getting sick as well but so it was like me getting sick I got sick for like four days and then as I was getting better he ended up getting sick because he stayed home from work because he works with children and didn't want to get the kids sick this is just the beginning of how crazy the past three weeks have been so I I put in my two weeks the last week right before I was supposed to leave I got sick for like four days as I was getting better my husband gets sick and then we both tested negative for COVID after the fact so we go ahead and I went back to work I think I still had like two or three shifts that I was supposed to work so I ended up going back for those and on my last shift I get a call from my husband and he tells me that he tested positive so on Friday night, we learned that my husband was exposed to somebody who tested positive. And then on Saturday, he took a test and because he didn't have any symptoms or anything so he took an at-home test one of the ones you can buy at Walgreens so immediately I have to tell my manager because I was with him the day before hey my husband just tested positive for COVID obviously like I need to tell her that I've been exposed to somebody who tested positive for COVID and because of like all of the HR rules and everything I had to go home and I felt so bad because it was literally like two people working at the store and I, I told her and she was like okay well the other girls on her break I'm gonna let her know so she can come out she's gonna have to end her break early and you're gonna have to go home so I felt so bad all of this it just it was so crazy because I was just sick for four days and now we tested negative then and that that's why they let me come back to work and then I came back to work and then I had to let them know that my husband tested positive for COVID so I went home because it comes in a box of two he's like you can take the second one and let's see so I go home and I I went in with my mask on because just in case I wasn't positive I would 
rather not get the virus if possible so I went in with my mask on and I didn't touch him I stayed far away from him six feet you know social distancing in my own house so I took the test that was in there and I came back negative now I didn't have very many options it was either have him quarantine in like the bedroom and literally not have him come out and then live in the living room or I called my parents and asked hey can I come stay with you because I'd rather him have the whole house and have like you know the kitchen to make food and like he had free reign of the house I would feel bad that he was alone but if I didn't test positive I'd rather not get it if I didn't have to right and also going to my parents house was Archie's idea just because he didn't want me to get it if I didn't have it so I ended up going to my parents house and they made me quarantine in my sister's room I can't remember how many days I was in the room I think it was like two days and then the next day I went to go get a PCR because I was like if it comes back negative it's already it's been a few days I haven't shown any symptoms I've literally just been in here reading books and scrolling through Instagram reels and watching YouTube videos and watching Netflix and all this stuff I'm like I've literally exhausted all my options and I am okay with my alone time like 100% I'm great with it just being me but when you're only like like you're confined to just one room and like you can't walk around you can't say hi to anyone like my mom would stand at the door and try to have a conversation with me but it's like it's so you know I it's uh, I just was tired of staying in the room and I was like well if my test came back negative and I haven't shown any symptoms it's been a few days since we've been exposed my husband tested positive on Saturday and he was exposed on Wednesday so he didn't he so he showed symptoms I think on Sunday and I was in this room I didn't show any symptoms so I went to go get a PCR at like our local urgent care and the next day they tell you it takes like 24 to 48 hours the next morning I literally slept all day because I woke up like I just didn't want to come back positive I really didn't want to get COVID. Also, sidebar, like I, after I quit on Saturday, that was my last shift, RJ had suggested that I take two weeks of just not doing anything, only working for the client that I have now instead of like trying to search and like literally jump right into it and not have a break. So he was like, take two weeks off and like go hang out with your friends, celebrate, you, you know, you're not working anymore, stuff like that. I was able to go to brunch with one set of friends and like my mom and my sister went with us, which was super cute. It's called Bistro Cafe in Miami. It's a Puerto Rican restaurant and they have these like colorful, glitter lattes which are delicious and you have to try it out if you ever want like a really funky breakfast just note that their portion sizes are humongous and I didn't even like I didn't even finish my leftovers because there was that much food but so I was supposed to after the day that I quit like my last shift I was supposed to have two weeks of just kind of chilling and not really worrying about anything just kind of hanging out having fun you know going to get coffee with friends etc so I was just really bummed also being in this room I thought I wasn't gonna be able to do anything anything right like I was making myself sick to my stomach I was like these are my two free weeks I want to go do stuff I want to go see my friends and like I literally couldn't do anything because I was stuck in this room so that's why I went to go take the PCR because I'm like if it comes back negative then it's like it's not me doing the self-administered test it's a nurse it's been in a lab like I will trust that more so I took the PCR and then the next day I literally made myself sick to my stomach because I was worrying so much about the test results and I remember I slept until like almost noon if not later than that because like, I literally just didn't want to wake up and have to be alone in this room again which is so depressing but, but it's true I literally slept so long that day my dad brought in chick-fil-a that my mom had picked up for lunch and he like dropped it on my little table that I had for food and so I kind of rolled over and looked at it and I was like hmm I wonder if I got my result in yet and you know me being obsessive like the personality that I am I checked my email and I got my test results back and it came back as not detected so I was covid free thank goodness which I have no idea literally no no idea how I didn't get it because my husband was exposed on Wednesday the girl tested positive on Friday from one of his lessons and then he tested positive on Saturday so like I was with him Wednesday night Thursday night Friday night well Saturday night no but I saw him that day so it was like I was with him for almost four days but yeah so I tested negative but then my husband was stuck all alone at the house and now I'm in this new environment so it was just really weird for me to try to film and I actually did try to film something but I hated the way it turned out so I didn't even post it because I just if I don't love it I'm not gonna put it out there for you guys it has been a crazy three weeks after he tested positive he was there I had to drop 
some food off to him every once in a while because obviously like he can't go out and get it himself. So I literally would like drop it off and stand back six feet and say hi and then like leave. So it was really sad because I hadn't seen my husband in like two weeks for more than like five minutes at a time. Um, and even that sometimes like I would just drop it off and he wouldn't even be able to, he like he didn't feel well enough to stand there and talk to me even for like two minutes. So there were times where I literally just dropped it off and was like, I love you, bye. But then the thing is that it scared me because my husband has asthma and you know, COVID affects the lungs and everything. He ended up getting pneumonia in his left lung. So that is what we're dealing with now. It just, it was one thing after another and yeah, I just, it was, it was just crazy. So that's literally why I haven't been on here. And I was so sad because I had several video ideas that I just, I couldn't execute because it, I was literally in a different space. I mean, I have all of my stuff to film, but you know when you're kind of like thrown for a loop and you just are not there mentally? That's where I was. I really wanted to create the content, but what I was producing wasn't at the level that I would want to show you guys. And I was just really upset over how sick my husband got because he got really bad to where like he couldn't eat. He probably hadn't eaten for, it was like two weeks where he was not, not, not eating, but like he would eat and couldn't hold it down. I mean, it's considered not eating, right? Like your body isn't being able to process any of the food in there. So it's just, it's been crazy. And now we're dealing with this pneumonia and we were supposed to leave with my family just a few days ago to Ohio for a family trip. We had had this plan for months, but I was like, there's no way that he can, there's no way that he can go right now at least. So we pushed our like date to leave back by like a week. So he has some time to recover because he is getting better. He went to urgent care and when they found the pneumonia in his lungs, they prescribed him a whole bunch of stuff. So he's been taking that, but um, he's gonna go see his regular doctor, I think like tomorrow. So yeah, it is literally just been one thing after another. And like, yeah, that's, that's why I haven't been on here in almost a month because I've been dealing with illness that I had, which was not COVID. And then my husband was sick and then my husband got COVID and I quit my job and it was just crazy, 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 crazy. But I am back and I'm ready to create content and I'm super excited. I am praying that my husband is well enough that we can actually go on this Ohio trip because I miss my family so much. The situation is just so complicated because I obviously don't want him to travel if he's gonna feel like he's being tortured because he can't eat anything or like, yeah, it's just he can't breathe right because he's coughing so much and I just don't want him to be on a 20 hour car ride with pneumonia in his lungs, so yeah. Here is to being extra careful in the coming months because if he gets sick again, it could be really bad for, you know, his lungs and everything. So, uh, all I could say is I could use a little bit of prayer out there, you know, like, um, <laughs> just, a, just a little bit because right now it feels crazy and he's getting better, which is really good, but still, you know, it's pneumonia. So that is my life update for you guys. That's why I've literally been MIA for the past three weeks, but I'm looking to create some more videos. I feel like I'm at the point where, you know, I'm comfortable. My husband is getting better. He's recovering day by day, which is good. He's actually able to eat now. And I feel like I'm in the right headspace to go ahead and start creating content for you guys and really focus and hone in and make sure that I'm creating content that I love and that I'm giving you guys my best. So that is all I have for today and I look forward to creating the videos that I have planned. So that is all I have for you guys today. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, I will be posting a new video every week from here on out, I promise you guys. So go ahead and click the notification bell to get notified when those go live. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Cheers. Jeez, I almost fell.